here, so my preferred tool is black there. Preferably this is black cutter. And the problem is I don't think I'll clear that. Ooh, we're clear. Perfect. Sound good? Sounds good. I don't know where we're going to be. I'm going to put this at zero right now. This place is dark over here. I can't see my zero point. Okay, zero right there, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Clean the dirt off helps. <laughs> okay. get to where I need to be too. I can get there if I want to be. Okay, there's our dimension. How much clearance we got, boss? Right there. It's even one little scratch in it. That's the old scratch. The new scratch is over here. Right there's a the new scratch. Okay, so I missed it by four with that. We're gonna say we're already cutting a little bit. Okay, so that's our number to go all the way across. Hear the mark? Okay. We're only hitting there, we're not hitting over here at all. Okay, so zeros we're going to start. We're going to go another 15, 14 to 15 pounds. We're going to drop 100,000. I'm digging too deep over there because we can move the case a little bit by cutting too much. And move this in a little bit here. I'm not sure it's dark over there. So you can't see. There's a lip in there someplace. Come back and find that lip here in a little bit. All right, chips are going that way. back over here we shouldn't be cutting oh yeah the cases aren't equal so I'm making a mess over there don't do that time to start using this over here okay so I'm gonna move it over a little bit so we can start cutting on that same spot again
unless you want to hit the, the solid chunk of steel. So that's not a good idea. That would be hard on the cutter. Yeah. It might affect the dullness and <laughs> the sharpness of it. It'll make it dull. Okay, we have tools for over there, we got tools for over there, we got tools for over here. And we got walkabout tools. Every station. We got all kinds of tools. Flatter already than it used to be. We got ten more thousand to go. See over here. This is all low through here. This is all flat now, 100% all the way across, except for those porosity holes in there that some crappy welder did. We'll talk to them about that. Yeah, they didn't burn all the crap out of the aluminum when they were welded on that previously welded piece that was on there. It was full of <laughs> painted muck. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. Yeah. Remember I told you they want to weld with the crap? Yeah, that's why. Porosity, but most of it's pretty good. It's just right along that parting lip. Well, I actually put a lot of material down. It's good. It's just right along the edge where I didn't put much. I didn't weld it over here at all. This is the original over here. Whatever they did. So this does not have a, sh this has a sharp edge on this cutter, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a little bit of radius, but not much. So what I'm doing, I'm pulling back a little bit to act like a radius. So I pull back five. I'll pull back ten, ten thousand this time, I think. I'm stepping it there so I don't leave a real sharp point like that. I'm 
helpful in trying to make a radius out of non-radius coder. I've chosen a little bit of a radius on that thing, but not much. So I'm trying to make it better. See, there's actually a radius in here. I don't think you can see it. it. Ain't much in there, but it's in there. If you have a sharp edge, it gives you a place to break. Okay, so we got uh, ten thou to go down. So I'm just going to cut the full ten right now. That'll give us our number. Or we no, we have fourteen to go, didn't we? Yeah, fourteen, fifteen. So I got into five passes. So we see how much it cleans over there. Big hole right there. Who put that big hole right there? See that big hole right there? What the hell's that all up with? Yeah, big chunk right there missing. It's like oh it's been welded there and they left a low spot. Mm -hmm. It's like delaminated material where it didn't weld originally. It's weird. It's doing a hard line. See laminating too, you can feel it. Put your thumb in there, you can feel it catching on the edge. That line that's not mm -hmm. supposed to be there. See it? Mm -hmm. It goes all the way down the whole thing. So you feel it, you can feel it catching, it's delaminating. You can see how it's pulling up, not even cut. See, this shouldn't be there. See, mine doesn't have that. That's where the weld didn't stick to the case. They probably welded across the whole surface. They didn't, they're didn't bond. It's like delaminating. We got five thou to go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut all of that out. Maybe not. Four and three quarter thou. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, geez. I broke my stuff in the other way. This is not this one. Yeah. This one? A mock up of 154 cubic inch, 153 cubic inch shovel that we're going to This is for one? Yeah, a little clump of motor. Yeah, just a little grocery grid. Yeah. Customer project, not mine. Stupid MAs for passing, so I mean. If you don't shove that, can get you out of the road, too. Right. Yeah. Does it kick on you? Now, if it's gone.
half of it went away, the other half's still there. I'm take another five to clean it all the way. See how it's still in there? Mm -hmm. It's gone over here. It's all delaminating here, though. It's up to you. I can do another five. It ain't gonna make no damn difference. Uh, yeah, it's got it. Well, I'm like, I don't like the buildup. It shouldn't be there. They just didn't weld it correctly. But you know, once you get through the whole thing, it's you know smooth once you cut through it. Terrible. Crappy machiners. Anybody like that around here, do you? No. Not around here. If it goes away. Go right to it right now. Is we getting rid of all of it or not? Looks like there's a little bit of it left in there. On the back side here, we'll see what it looks like. Got most of it. I saw a porosity over there where some dumbass can't roll. the edge, shut it off, cut that off, we got 152 more before we hit, see we're getting close, so we got 152 more to go, we actually got a quarter inch, but I left myself some extra, alright, how mad are you going to be if it's no good? Um, in a one skin, we're not. Okay, it looked a better finish going the other way, I thought it was leaving a better finish the other way. I think most of it's gone, just the finish isn't as good. It's a crappy finish over there. It dragged. The aluminum's not very strong. So I use hard welding rods so it's a lot stronger, so it's a better finish. This stuff here sucks. Where'd you come up with this crappy uh, material you're using? I have to ask the last machine. Yeah. See the lead delamination looks like it's pretty well gone, but the finish isn't as good as this side, mm -hmm. see? Terrible finish, but I can fix that. I'll give it one more thing. We like wasting time around here. So you got ply milling and non ply and standard milling. So there must be a little bit of a climb going the other way. That's why there's a better finish. Climb always is better finish than standard. This should be a better finish out this way. I did before. But for some reason, I don't have all these rough machine marks like they did here. Yeah. It don't look like that on my circuit. Yeah. All those brosses are coming, are coming up nice, though. See that crappy the brosses in there. Yeah, I'm well there with the crap. See the witness marks there, those brosses housed in there? Mm -hmm. That's the uh, tells you the machine's flat and square. You don't get those unless it's square. That's why they call them witness marks. Witness? Witness. A witness. Tells you the machine's good. Just witnessing great things. Otherwise, you just have marks like this. You got these little crescent cuts all the way down the whole surface. Mm -hmm. That means it's not flat. <laughs>
about that now. Look at the difference in finish between the two directions. So much smoother it is. Right. It's almost as smooth as this one now. That's just how the cutter cuts. It doesn't look like this side though. Must be something wrong with the side. Mm -hmm. Alright. I can take a cut across here if you want and screw it all up. Yeah. You can see how square the case is. Put a cutter in there and run it across. Or just not to taste that. We're just grind it out. Yeah, just grind it. Oh, you want to just grind it? Yeah. The cutter get it real close. It's a real flat. Be square. We'll be stocked for the case though. So. Uh, let's see. These aren't supposed to be until Tuesday. Okay, cool. They sent me the tracking today. Nice. We got some threaded inserts coming in for that. This here needs to be uh, worked on here. Someone, someone put a big weld, gobble weld over here for some reason. What's up with that? Need some attention. Some attention to detail. All right, so this is uh, pretty good. So I would say take this home, mm -hmm. put it in your frame, and see how flat your frame is. Sure. Because we know this is flat now. So it's a good time to shim it, whatever you gotta do yeah. to the frame, because it's easy it's to work with the, and... It's very easy to work with the cases when there's nothing in them. Right. So, and this is, yes. how, they're this is how they're machined, so they're gonna be pretty square and flat. So, so all you do now is do a little grinding right through here. So, I'll get this off here and clean up and do some grinding. <laughs> 